Trondheim, home of Norway's most successful football club, Rosenborg. I was six, seven years old. I stood over there and watched and dreamt about uh, playing here uh, someday. So I have always been a Rosenborg fan. Always been a big club, and to play for it uh, was, yeah, it was really good. We won the first time in '88. Uh, it was the start of uh, Nils Arne Hagen's uh, period of a great uh, result, and the, uh, after '94 we won the league 12 times and played in Champions Leagues. Rosenborg recently travelled to Molde with the title in sight. A point at their rivals would guarantee they retained their crown, won last year under former player turned coach Kor Ingebrigtsen. At that time, uh, it was five years since the last one, so it was, uh, it was time to do it. And Molde had done really well, and that, that's, that hurt badly for us in Trondheim. But, uh, so it was really well, uh, good for us to, to win it in 2015. It's created a, a very strong togetherness where I think all the players know what they expected to do for each other. And uh, I don't think any players doubt what is ex expected of them. Uh, and they know each other very well and they know each other's roles very well, so they push each other every day. When Kaur arrived, he wanted more offensive, more entertaining football. I think he sometimes thinks it's better to win 5-4 than to win 1-0. You could notice immediately that we'd worked incredibly hard on our attacking game and that there should be more entertainment. I thought I should do well because I know the club and how the city and everybody wants us to play football. So I went back there to, yeah, do the things I believe we should do to, to play the right football and offensive and positive football that uh, the people in Trondheim wanted to see. And it's a bit more pressure as well, because I know my mom and my dad and everybody I know, if we lose a game, they won't speak to me for three days. So I know uh, I can feel the pressure as well. And Inge Britson certainly felt it when Mulder went one up half an hour in. The space was there in the first half, but we couldn't uh, take advantage of it. Uh, but in the second half, I thought we didn't, and the quality was there. As ever, captain Mike Jensen led by example, equalising just after the restart. He's a leader in uh, our group. He's uh, always the guy who's going in the front. Uh, and, uh, he never gives up, and uh, you can see the energy he plays with, and the energy he gives the group. When you enter the pitch and you put the captain's armband on, you become proud, and your chest comes out a bit. You feel great, and it's really a special feeling to be the captain. Teammate Christian Gitka made it 2-1 before Jensen put the match beyond doubt. With that third goal, you have the confirmation that we would win the game. It was an incredible feeling, and it was amazing to celebrate with the fans at the Molde Stadium. All of my teammates came running to hug me, and we knew that we had secured the title. We had beaten Molde away from home. It was incredible. For us, it was brilliant, but for, I think, mainly most for the supporters that have been there and supported us really, really well the whole, whole year. Uh, they haven't won in Molde, I think, for four or five years. For them to do it in Molde, I think, was the next best, uh, best to do it uh, instead of doing it at home. So to celebrate with them in Molde was, was really good. There is a very strong bond. Our fans are incredible. They are at a completely different level from the other fans in Norway. I really believe that in a way they are part of us, and I hope the fans feel the same. It's not just us players in the club, and they are just some people that come to cheer us on. They are also part of us. They help us win games, to win titles. They mean a great deal to us. So with five games to play, the title was won, and that means European football again at the Lurkendal. The spectators are spoiled. Uh, after uh, being uh, taking part in Champions League so many years in a row. So they expect us to get back. It's always the goal to 
go back there to, to get the big team to play at like and all. We would like to see Man United, Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal, Real Madrid play at like and all again. Do this metal time on, so it's, it's what everyone dreams of. There's no doubt that it's our main aim, and I'm sure that we will achieve it. I hope it's next year, but if not, I'm sure we will get into the Champions League within the next couple of years. Edinburgh.